For this tutorial, I'd like to look and focus on the Turing assignment operator, and that is operator is the colon equal sign, and the assignment operator is how we put values into variables. So let me start off with something uh, very simple: var x int. So I've created a variable called x, and it's going to contain an integer and I can use the assignment operator to set x equal to 5. The way the assignment operator works is that um, the value or the values uh, on the right side are stored in the variable on the left side. So keep that in mind as we go through this tutorial. So right now, the value on the right side is simply the number 5, and that's being stored in the variable on the left side, which is the x. So that's something you should keep in mind right away, which is when you use the assignment operator, colon equals, when you use that, there must be a variable on the left-hand side. Now there's a number of things that could be on the right-hand side, and I'm going to go through some of the examples of what that could be. So if this works, and if I've set x equal to 5, then when I say put x, the result should be 5. And it is 5, as you can see from the output window. So let's go with something a little bit more interesting, which is what if I do a calculation on the right-hand side? It works the same way. I can put a calculation on the right-hand side. What is the result of this calculation? It's a simple one. The result is 8. The value 8 gets calculated first and then that value gets stored in the variable on the left hand side. So in this case, first it does this calculation is 8 and the result is stored in x, in x and then we output x. You don't just have to use constant values for this. So let me add another variable, our variable y, which is also an int. And let me set y equal to 5 and now I'm going to set, uh, well let's actually change that. So y is set to 10 and then x is set to y so what will be the result when I output x? So how does this work? The variable, the value on the right gets saved on the left so now the variable y has the value 10 in it. The value on the right well, the value on the right is a variable y, but the variable y contains 10, and so now x contains 10. And if I run this, I output x, and I get x equals 10. I don't have to just use a variable on its own. I could say y plus 3. Now the variable y is equal to 10, which means this is essentially a 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. That means that x is now equal to... 13 and so we can we can make changes like that and there's one last change that I actually want to show you and this is sometimes this is the most confusing but in some ways the most interesting change which is we can use the variable itself to change values so let's go back to x being set equal to 5 so now x is equal to 5 now imagine that I wanted to say x is equal to x plus 2. What is this going to do? This is going to perform the calculation on the right. So what is the current value of x? When we reach this line in our program, the current value of x is 5. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So now when we put x, the result is going to be 7. Let me add a put x here and here. So we start off with x equal to 5 and that's going to output 5. We then move to x equals 7 and that should output 7. And sure enough we end up with the outputs of 5 and 7. So the key to remember using the assignment operator in Turing it's not just an equal sign it's an equal sign with a colon in front of it and the way it works is the right hand side is fully resolved it's fully calculated and whatever that result is, it gets saved in the left-hand side. The operations I've shown you here are only with integers, but you can do the same kind of operations with real values or decimal values. 
There are even operations that can be done with strings and with Boolean values. And that's a topic for another tutorial.